and then taking the little ends off. So in that little square pocket is our peach. And then I'm just going to slice this peach up a little bit, just so our pieces aren't too, too big. And start to put them into our bowl. so nice to have wonderful fresh fruit so we try to enjoy it as much as we can when it's this time of year we've also got a couple of plums do the same thing that I did with the peaches, just cutting down four sides and then taking the little end off. Of course, if you all weren't here, I'd have this in my mouth chewing the rest of it off, but that wouldn't be too polite. dying to know how I'm going to finish this off. I'm smelling something cooking, so I better check my grill again. Uh, yes, I think my polenta is looking wonderful. So let me put my slices of polenta As you can see, our plate is starting to build with a lot of nice color. Let me take a look at those tomatoes. Just another minute on the tomatoes. Chicken's looking wonderful. You can see it all browning up lovely. Let's just give it a little just to make sure that it's not sticking. And back to work to finish up our plums. This is the type of dessert that I love. I'm not a big sweet dessert eater, so when it's fresh fruit, wonderful things like that, I just go crazy over it. I think uh, we're doing great. Let me get myself organized here. Now, one of the other things I'm going to add to this dessert, and it might sound a little bit strange, but trust me, you'll love it. A little bit of fresh ginger. I'm just shaving it back to get some of these skins off. I don't know if we'll have to shave this on a fine or a medium grater, but we'll we'll see how it looks with the uh, with the fine. I think fine's going to be a little bit too fine. I want to get some bigger. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Just a little bit of that grated ginger on the top. When we mix that up, it's going to be wonderful. 
This is our ginger. Let me get our tomatoes. We don't want to forget about those. chicken is just about ready. Okay, I can't hold on any longer. To finish this dish, and it sounds a little bit strange, but trust me, it's wonderful. I'm going to put a little bit of cracked pepper on this. Remember, this is dessert. Not too much. And here's the kicker. My best 18-year-old balsamic vinegar. I'm going to just drip this on little drizzles. It's like thick and viscous. Really, it's so sweet. It has the uh, hint of fig and honey. Now let's take a look at that chicken. I think we need to bring that chicken plate center stage. Baby vegetables are just so gorgeous. Remember, the only thing we did ahead of time was really to bone that chicken, which just took a couple of minutes. Now there is one other thing I'm going to do to finish this um, dessert. I've got a little bit of mascarpone cheese, which again is just wonderful. It's not too sweet. I'll just cream this up a little bit. As it comes to room temperature, it gets a little bit soft. I'll put a scoop of that right in the middle. Tiny little bit of balsamic vinegar right on the top. Just dripping down all sides. So today we did poulet grill American, some grilled polenta, a little side of mushrooms, bacon and tomato, some grilled vegetables with just some simple extra virgin olive oil. I'll give another little drizzle just to finish them off, just simple and light. And our wonderful fresh array of fruit with mascarpone cheese, a little cracked pepper, and some 18-year-old balsamic vinegar. I'm David Martone, Cooking Time. Thank you for joining us outdoors. Good night.